I feel like I've been hit by a brick, then thrown into a mixing bowl, added sriracha to me, mixed me up, chopped me up, eaten me, spit me out because I'm too spicy, and thrown in the bin and put in a composter and been turned into a tomato plant. That is what I feel like right now. Oh my god, guys, I've got, uh, I've got a lot to update you on. First things first. First things first on the list. First things first. Can we address the tan? The tan is tanning. Look. Okay, guys, you're probably thinking, what the fuck is on your tit? I will explain later. Hi, guys. So I've just got the most exciting package in the mail. <laughs> One sec, one sec, give me one sec. Is this not the biggest Hello Fresh box you have ever seen? So, as you guys may have guessed from what I've just shown you, today's video is actually kindly sponsored by Hello Fresh. If you don't know what Hello Fresh are, they are basically a food meal subscription service. So you can basically customize your whole experience. So you can choose how many people you want. So I chose two, it's just me and my mum in the house. And then they basically send you out some meals that you can make and they send you all of the ingredients. Hello Fresh is perfect if you're someone like me who, well, number one is absolutely shit at cooking. I think I can make toast and pasta, that is about it. So HelloFresh is great for that because every single meal that you buy comes with a recipe card, which I will show you in just a second. But HelloFresh is also perfect if you're a uni student, which obviously I will be soon. And it's really easy to adapt into your routine because the meals are very quick and easy to make. And obviously that's perfect when you're a student. HelloFresh also optimizes cooking time because you can see on the recipe card how long your meal's gonna take. If you know that you don't have very long to cook, you can choose one of the easier meals. So I actually chose halloumi burger and wedges. I think this is the meal that I'm gonna show you in this video because halloumi burger, if you know, is my absolute favorite. And it also has all the nutritional information here, which is perfect. So you can track your daily nutrients. HelloFresh is so useful and helpful when you're trying to adapt to a new routine. Maybe you're going to uni like I am, or maybe you are during exam season and you don't have much time to cook. This is perfect for adapting to your routine because as I said, it's quick and easy and also you lucky 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 people You can click the link in the description I will also put it on the screen to get 60% off your first box 60% That's like over half quick math You can also get 25% off two months using my code Which is on the screen now and also will be linked in the description as well I'm just so excited to get cooking I'm gonna show a bit more in depth of me like actually cooking it later on in the video So you can see that and see me potentially fail at making it. I'm not sure we'll see see how it goes. Again, as I said, thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I can't wait to make some meals and actually hopefully cook them. Um, uh, I can try. God loves a tryer. So, if you guys didn't know, well, you probably won't know actually, unless you follow my um, Instagram, which is on the screen now, go follow it. I have, um, oh, look, look, literally, guys, you're not ready for this. I have been in Alicante, well, near Alicante, not actually in Alicante, with my friends. We went to my friend Lucy's villa, because she has a villa there, and honestly, I had the best week ever, like, it it was so fun um it's kind of like a little bit of a not like a goodbye but like a little bit of a like a goodbye like last group friendship thing there was seven of us that went anyways yeah got back um <coughs> last night and woken up and this is the state i'm in um I, I did get a braid you know one of those like braids that you get on holiday when you're a child i actually have never had one of these ever like i feel like you're supposed to get them when you were a child but i never did um so yeah i have that i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep it in for uni freshers i don't know what sort of impression that gives off of me i don't know if that makes me look like a weirdo or it makes me look like a indie surfer chick i don't know um we will we will see time will tell i hate my voice right now i sound so like gross <laughs> anyway it's to address the fucking injuries i have basically we found electric scooters can you see what's coming electric scooters very very fun like the first night that we hired them so fun you literally in spain you don't even need a license or anything like you literally scan the scan the qr code and you're off like you're zooming they go up to like t some of them go up to like 28 miles per hour which like is really fast when you're on a scooter like they are so fun right but then mm, on our last night in alicante you have to like find them like around your area and i had i had one but my friend didn't so my friend holly was like oh yeah like i'll get on the back and then you can scoot me to the next scooter i was like sound because i'd literally i've been on a scooter with two people before like it was sound <coughs> So um, I had my hands on the outside of the handlebars. She had them on the inside of the handlebars. And we set off fine and dandy. Then 
not that I'm blaming my friend Holly, but like, mm, kind of was her fault. But at the same time, my fault probably also because I did forget to break and I probably didn't handle the situation very maturely. But yeah, she couldn't see, so she thought that she would put her hands around my waist instead whilst we were going probably 20 miles an hour. And when I say this, I mean we literally were about five seconds away from where we started. Like, it, there was not much time in between this. This is a short story. This is a GCSE. English language short story. Once she put her hands around my waist, the whole thing lost balance. The handlebars were like, Ooh. like honestly, my hands on the handlebars were like this. I thought, this is the end. This is it. This is my fate. Did I break? Nah. Thought, nah. Well, in the moment, I didn't know how to break. I was just like, ah. So I, I just dived. I dived. I went. I dived off a scooter that was traveling 20 miles per hour. Obviously, Holly was attached to me. We both just went onto the tarmac. So this is the first injury. She's cute. Um, kind of gross. Then I've also got like this on my um knee. I've also got a cute one on my ankle. And obviously, like a nice little bit of graze in here. Um, yeah, very, 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 very nice injuries. The start of the show. Now I can't properly show you because I will get demonetized, but basically. <laughs> I was wearing a Susamusa, lovely brand, love you Susamusa, tight green, tiny little bandeau. Now, if you think my, my tiny little green Susamusa bandeau top stayed on during the fall, <laughs> you would be completely wrong. Literally, when I say like my top, like picture this is the top, here's the top, it literally, when, once I'd fallen, it was here, like it was not, my boobs were out. I'm just going to show you the top because I obviously can't show you my nipple, but like, are you seeing, like, you can picture what is going to, you can, you know, you can see. I thought I was going to look down and not see my nipple. I thought my nipple was not going to be there anymore. I thought, I, I thought, oh my God, like, I'm only going to be able to breastfeed out of one boob. I'm going to have one nipple. I'm going to have to find it so they can sew it back on. Like, I did not know what to do. But I looked down and my nipple's there and that was all I cared about. I was like, yes. But um, now I've got a grazed tit. If anyone wants to hit me up, let me know because you are in for a surprise. Um, but yeah, on top of all of that, I've now got a fucking cold. Um, I need to take some... Now, I'm going to see if we have any cold and flu tablets because this voice is not okay. Um, but yeah, if I just update you on my life, as I said, I did have a really, really, really good holiday. But yeah, this part wasn't the best. But I mean, the tan does make up for it. Like, let's not lie. Um, today, I thought I'd just like vlog. I don't know. It's the 7th of September, which means I've got 10 days left till uni. 10 days like i need to pack up my room and i think a few of you guys probably know this but like i'm actually moving house so basically we're not moving house like the weekend that i moved to uni but like my mum is basically moving all our stuff out whilst i'm at uni if that makes sense so yeah i not only do i have to like pack for uni i have to actually like pack up my room because i'm moving like this ain't gonna be my room anymore i'm actually like i'm excited to move house because i feel like our new house is gonna be really really nice and like i'm happy that my mum's moving in with a boyfriend and everything like that but like you can't beat this room like like, guys, it actually makes me want to cry just thinking about not having this room anymore. Like, the girl who has this room next, you please cherish it. Please make it look as funky as I have. Like, please, please make use of the LED lights that will still be attached to the ceiling. Like, I don't even want to talk about it. Sorry for the rambling. I feel like I've just told you my entire life story in about 30 seconds. Well, actually, I've been filming for nine minutes, so that is a lie. Um, but yeah, my mum is back at work. If you didn't know, she's a teacher, so she ain't here to look after me. I've got to fend for myself. Hello, my gorgeous little girl. Hello, gorgeous. <gasps> hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I bet you missed me. Did you miss me when I was away? Yeah. Also, guys, I've lost, like, all my gibbets. Like, do you see this, like, this one here? That used to be a leaf, and now it's gone. I'm losing gibbets by the day. I thought I'd talk to you a bit about, like, my um, food and weight. Not, not, like, in a deep way. Just... Obviously, if you have been, like, following my life on, like, whatever social media, I have been going on quite a few holidays. I actually ended up going on four holidays this year, which, like, is obviously, like a lot like no one needs four holidays but i was lucky enough to actually go on four holidays well two of them i actually pay for myself and then two of them were like family ones so like i guess it's like not too bad when you think about it like that but like i did go on a lot of holidays and obviously with holidays comes a lot of eating a lot of eating out a lot of like breakfast lunch and dinner like there's no kind of like like when i'm at home i don't really have breakfast because i don't wake up early enough or like i'll just have lunch and dinner and then maybe a snack so like there's kind of no like routine and you guys know i'm funny about my relationship with food anyways like eating abroad kind of does stress me out just because like you're eating so much and like i i have put on weight like i know that i have and i know it's kind of just more like a lifestyle thing like i know when i'm back to like eating normally like 
I obviously will lose the weight but it's just like it has been bringing me down a bit I guess I spoke about it in my Tenerife vlog like I have been putting on weight and I genuinely just think it's because I've been eating out so much like in Alicante this week like went out for like a big meal and like we had lots of vodka like do you know what I mean like it adds up and then you put on weight and like it has made me feel really down and insecure so I kind of want to change that I don't know maybe it's just a, like a psychological thing but like I yeah it's just stressed me out the amount of food I've been eating so I'm trying to cut down and be a bit more healthy so I'm gonna have like a fruit salad maybe um i've got something exciting to show you for dinner so i'll show you dinner obviously when i have it but yeah we've got banana i f***ing love banana i went off it because i used to always eat it in lockdown and then like i over it but now i just love it i don't know what other fruits we've got my mum is a bit of a health freak at the minute like she loves being healthy which like pop off but at the same time like i don't want to be eating dairy free chocolate ice cream do you know what i mean anyways so I've made the most blandest looking fruit salad ever. I think I'm gonna have this and then like I'm gonna have some protein as well because my mum always tells me off for not having enough protein. So like maybe I'll have some chicken. I'm trying to lay off the carbs because I ate so many carbs in Alicante. It was insane. So I'm actually now crying. Oh, I don't even know why. I can't find my electric toothbrush charger and I can't find any bin bags and I don't know where either are. And it's upset me. I'm so stupid. Like I don't actually know why I'm crying. I always do this after holiday i always just like start really crying i don't know why i do this like i do it every single time if i'm not crying on holiday i'm crying after my holiday i hate losing things like my toothbrush is out of charge and i don't have a charger what the actual f <laughs> and i'm wearing a bright green t-shirt and i look like a highlighter right now i actually i'm a crying green highlighter so guys i've stopped crying now i feel like i say that in every single vlog i'm like guys i've stopped crying as i said at the start of the video today we're working with hello fresh so this part of the video is not sponsored by the way this is just me actually cooking it i'm gonna be making the holy me burger just because ugh, why why would you say no to that like honestly i'm so excited um i've never actually had hello fresh before but like i've seen like loads of people rave about it like everyone knows how much i love beauty spectrum and she always um works with them and like loves them so yeah i am really really excited to be cooking obviously i am going to uni and i don't have any cooking skills so i probably should broaden my what's the word i don't even know broaden my horizons is that the word i don't know but uh... guys why does it come with a chocolate bar why does it come with a chocolate bar i swear none of these recipes need chocolate maybe this is just for me to scram but i, I don't think i've ever cooked my mum a meal in my entire life in her entire life so like she's gonna be shook Yeah, leave the skin on, no. lengthways. Like that? No, cut from the top down towards the board. That's it. So you've probably seen that my mum is helping me, but I, as I said before, I am incapable. So we've got the halloumi. We're on uh, this step here, so kind of halfway through. And we've just got, oh God, we've just got the wedgies and the pepper sizzling in there. And then basically all we have to do is fry the halloumi, cut the buns, and then assemble the salad. It's like, it's like I'm in a restaurant. Do you know when you go to a restaurant and you order a sweet chili halloumi burger with pepper? That's what I'm making right now. I am the chef. Don't, don't be shy, call me chef. <laughs> Sorry, I'm using the fridge light right now. Oh, my camera's flashing at me. One sec. Like, when I say I've never cooked a meal in my life, like, I'm not joking. Like, I actually have never cooked a meal in my life. I, like, I've never even chopped a potato before. And I think I went very well. I mean, I did have a little bit of help from my mum, but, like, come on, guys. Like, I'm still a child at heart. I thought to treat myself. I'd try a bit of this chocolate bar that came with the box. Again, thank you so much to HelloFresh. Obviously, the video is sponsored, but all opinions and everything. But obviously, my own. I wouldn't recommend something that I didn't actually think was good. Mm, that's good. The fridge is beeping at me one second. Oh my god, can you see that rain? 
Hi guys, it's a bit late now. It's now like half eight. I'm about to meet my friend Alicia for a pint. I think some of my other friends might come, but I'm not sure. I'll show you my outfit. I actually really, really like this outfit. I think, I feel like simple is really in at the minute. So I just went for a really simple outfit. Just got on this little t-shirt from Bandy Melville, which I got in Valencia. My Motor Rocks shoot pants. And then my Superstars. My hair's really not working right now. I might also put on my North Face. Like, how exciting is that? I feel love north face season i like crimped it but it's really greasy so it's kind of not giving um i feel like it looks as good as it's gonna get do you know what i mean but yeah i am so excited what am i excited for i don't, I don't actually know what i was about to say then yeah i'm going for a pint my go-to pint at the minute guys is foster's and blackcurrant i don't know if that's embarrassing but like foster's and blackcurrant is chef's kiss it's so good yeah i'm gonna get foster's blackcurrant with my friend and yeah i'm not sure what else we're gonna do probably just that probably just sit and have a chat because obviously we're all going to uni soon and like these are like the last few days with each other which is so sad i actually really like my outfit and i never like my outfit so that's a good thing yeah i'm gonna go now and get a foster blackcurrant because i'm a pussy and can't have pints <laughs> <laughs> 